Hello, I am Roland Divey, national spokesman for the Movement de la Paix at the conference against the A and H bombs in Hiroshima, Nagasaki, in uh, August 2024. Hello, everyone. Thank you for the, in your invitation to the French Peace Movement to speak at this conference. Hello to the Bakusha and their loved ones. I need to speak in English because my but my English is not so good. But I, I have to do for everyone uh, who don't uh, speak French. Last year, at this time, I spoke at this conference, stressing the need for a global call for the elimination of nuclear weapons. In August 2023, we were concerned about the possibility of a nuclear war breaking out as a result of a conflict between Ukraine and Russia at the almost direct intervention of NATO. Since then, a new conflict whose genocidal nature has been denounced by the International Criminal Court has erupted in the Middle East. Recent events in the Golan show that a nuclear war could also break out at any time in the Middle East as a result of the tensions. Global military spending continue to rise, reaching 2,400 billion by 2023. And spending on nuclear weapons for modernization continues to increase. In France, the government has set a target of around $100 billion over 14 years for nuclear weapons and their modernization, while in US, the target is around $1 billion over for 50 years. Other nuclear armed states are following the same trajectory to varying degrees. Some 50 conflicts are blooding the world, killing tens of thousands of the world's most precious commodities, our young people. We are putting on a resplendent show for us at the 2024 Olympic Games in Paris. These young people from all over the world represent the future of the world and of humanity. They are the tangible and real proof that peace is possible. And I would even go so far as to say that these young people show that humanity has no other path to its future than peace and that it is possible. A nuclear war could break out at any moment in the earth of Europe or the Middle East. Under this condition, the urgent need is to united action by people the world over. The number one emergency is a global action plan that the organization gathered here must launch. Yes, it is vital that the 2024 conference once again reaffirms the need for civil society to take a leading role in nuclear disarmament in the face of a military media industrial lobby. This global lobby is fueling the relaunch of the nuclear arms race, whereas the urgent, the urgent need is to build peace. The peace building must be based on respect for international law as the principle and values of the United Nations Charter, the Sustainable Development Goals, the work of the EPCC on climate change, and the United Nations Resolution for a Culture of Peace. We represent the conscience of the world. We have the duty and also the power to act and to launch a global mobilization for the total elimination of nuclear weapons. Last year, 
I present to you in Hiroshima with a global appeal for the total elimination of nuclear weapons, which are illegal, dangerous, costly, useless for world security and morally unacceptable. This appeal has gone ahead. It was endorsed by the World Social Forum of Struggle and Resistances at the World Social Forum in Nepal. It was enriched but at the International General Assembly of Abolition 2000 in April 2024. In France, it is supported by the Collective National Démarche pour la Paix, which bring together some 200 organizations, including three central trade unions. A few days before the meeting on the NPT in Geneva in July 2024, we launched an appeal to support this campaign and three days received the backing of some 50 organizations from 30 different nations. We publicized, launched this appeal on Tuesday, July 24, at the entrance of the United Nations in Geneva, in the presence of a delegation from EPB Bureau International de la Paix, elected representative from Mayors for Peace France, and members of a Japanese delegation present in Geneva. It is time for me to read the worldwide appeal, global appeal for total elimination of nuclear weapon. We, citizens of all countries, recognize that nuclear weapons are illegal, dangerous, costly, and immoral, and that their elimination is provided for by the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and by the Treaty on the Prohibition of Nuclear Weapons, which came into force on January 22 in 20, 2021. We, the citizens of all countries, demand that all states of the world do everything in their power without the delay, delay and in compliance with the above mentioned treaties to achieve the total elimination of nuclear weapons weapons of terror and mass extermination of population, indeed of the annihilation of all life on earth. We demand that all the resources wasted on this weapon be used for the well-being of humanity, for the fight against global warming, for the protection of our common planet, and for the construction of a peaceful world based on justice, solidarity, and cooperation. Today, we are proposing to the International Conference Against A and Ash Bomb that together we build what we can and must become a global mobilization for the total elimination of nuclear weapons built around this appeal. We ask the conference to support this initiative, which marks a kind of insurrection of consciences emanating from the civil society of the world's fourth largest nuclear power, with the support of organizations from some 30 countries acting in several countries possessing nuclear, nuclear weapons or hosting nuclear weapons on their territory. Now, we have the need and the duty to work together in a united and constructive way to make this appeal the guiding thread of a global campaign of action to make the demands of the people all over the world here. While working also with all the states, international organization, national and international institution, and also local authorities throughout the world would wish to do so. We propose that you reflect and implement together an action plan comprising several stages. One, 
over and above our action in support of a global appeal for the total elimination of nuclear weapons, we propose a next meeting on September 26 during the UN International Day for the Total Elimination of Nuclear Weapons with the aim of expanding the list of organizations supporting the campaign and organizing a global video conference. Two, request the UN to lend its support and set up a global signature site enabling all the people of the world to sign this appeal. It is the role of the United Nations to enable us, the peoples, to express our support on a massive scale for the work of the United Nations for Nuclear Disarmament. Such an initiative has already been taken by the United Nations at the launch of the World Decade for Culture of Peace in 2000. It was signed by 75 million people in support of the peace manifest drawn up by UNESCO. Three, call for united and unifying global mobilization at the third meeting of the state parties to the International Treaty Against Nuclear Weapons in March 2025, between and during the global wave of peace and the commemoration of the 80th anniversary of the US atomic bombing of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in 2025 which should be a huge moment of mobilization worldwide, then the organization of peace concerts in major cities around the world, including Hiroshima, Nagasaki, New York, Paris, Geneva, London, and elsewhere, as a part of the International Day of Peace on September 21 in 2025. Finally, on September, 26 on 2025, we propose to call for peace and nuclear disarmament initiative around the world as part of a UN International Day for the total elimination of nuclear weapons. Four, we propose to set up a global follow-up committee to lead the campaign through to the 20, to 2026 Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty Review Conference and beyond. Let's imagine and work towards the realization of a world of peace, justice, and solidarity free of nuclear weapons with, the river, with and during uh, the conference of 2026 for the review uh, of non-proliferation treaty. We shall overcome. Thank you for your attention and excuse me for my bad English.